What to do, man? It's your boy Battle Truth coming to you live and direct from the Battle Truth headquarters. Let's get right off into this, man. Pearly Gates 3 is over with. Mav Hopper and Hollow the Don, man. Battle is done. This was a very, very controversial battle. One of the grudge matches out there is done and over with. One of the many that's still out there. So, would this live up to the hype? Would this battle live up to the hype? This pay per view card was 50 bucks. And I'm, a, you know what? That's another story. Let's just get off into this battle thing. So look, Mav Hopper, Hollow the Don is finally over with. What would be the outcome of this battle? <sighs> okay, Mav needed to win this battle. If Mav did not win this battle, I, I, I don't know what to say. I have no idea how a battle rap career could be or what's going to happen. Hollow couldn't lose. Hollow couldn't. Hollow, to some degree, couldn't afford to lose to Mav. So this battle meant something to both these brothers when you think about what's out on the line, when you land what's out on the line here. Now, as I'm watching this battle, man, and this thing going on between these brothers, man, it's a lot of things took place in this battle. Uh, the thing about this battle, though, a lot of stuff didn't come surprisingly because they didn't... The thing they were talking about in this battle, for the most part, we already heard in the um, face-off. Not the face-off. We already heard in the interviews and promo that they were doing before the battle. So, I think it took away from this battle some. I think, I think it took away from this battle a lot. But it still was overall, this was a good battle. This was a good battle overall. It don't compare to the likes of Hitman and Verb at all. And as far as math, I'm saying he don't think Lux and Verb would compare to this. Y yes, they will. Yes, they will. Let's just get that out the way. Lux and Verb going to kill this battle. I, I, I just believe that with all my heart. But with that being said, this was a good battle on both ends. This was a good hollow did good and math did good. We're going to get off into this battle, man. We're going to talk about a lot of things that happened in here. And it was a crazy, one of the most craziest exposing that ever took place in battle rap, I believe. I believe happened tonight. Let's get right off into it. Hollow the Dime starts out first. Hollow the Dime come out. He doing what Hollow the Dime doing. He had a nice solid first round. It wasn't too personal. I think he just came out of the gate just jabbing away. You know what I'm saying? Just jabbing, jabbing. I think he just wanted to uh, uh, try to see what Mav was going to bring in order to uh, uh, rebuttal what Mav was going to do. You know what I'm saying? So he set the tone. It was a nice, solid first round. It wasn't too crazy, but it wasn't light neither. It wasn't uh, 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 weak. It was like somewhere in the middle of, of, of that. It wasn't... It, it was solid. It was a nice first solid round. I gave him, I gave him a uh, seventeen points, seventeen points in the first round. Nice solid first round for Hollow. Mav, come on. Now this is what I wanted to see. Mav did a lot of talking. Mav said how this one of the best Mavs even gonna be, and he ready, and this was gonna be epic. So Mav, come on. And Mav definitely lived up to what he said he was going to do. I just wish he always was like this. Mav come on in the first round and Mav is, man, Mav is, 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 is punching away. You know what I'm saying? But he talking some personal stuff here and there, lightly, you know what I'm saying? And he's setting the tone too, letting us know what this night is about to be like. So Mav come on, man, and... um. Mav did his thing in that first round. I got Mav 19 to hollow 17 in the first round. But you see how close it was. 19 to 17. Mav up one zip going into the second round. Second round, come on. Um, Mav uh, barking away. I mean, hollow, hollow doing his thing. Um, he, he did the... Uh, he doing his thing, you know what I'm saying? And uh, he was good. 
Hollow second was bananas. Crazy. Better than his first. I gave Hollow 24 points in his second round. Hollow did his thing in that second round. He was fazzing away like crazy. You know what I'm saying? Um, math come on after that. And I want to say something that happened in the second round. So Mav come on in the second round after Hollow. So Mav rapping. Hollow cousin. I think I think it's that same guy who Mav was like into it with at their face off. Mav rapping. So Hollow cousin. Hollow cousin. You know how like a person in your corner got like with friends son in your ear. So that's what dude do to Hollow. Mav come in and like. Break the like, hey man, what you doing? So, so, I think he really overreacted. He really overreacted. I didn't understand that at all. I think he just overreacted. He definitely overreacted. It was no need for that. What he did, I, I think that was just too extra. He didn't have to do that. But the one dude who was hugging Hollow and was talking to him when Mav like, hey, come on, man, like. He broke them from each other. Dude wasn't trying to hit that. ARP them had to come in, but something happened. That man said to Mav, and I played this four times to hear it right. He said to Mav, I'm going to smoke you when you get outside. Mav, before that though, Mav was saying to ARP, before that, before dude said that, Mav was saying to ARP, Mav said, hey, then I tell you, man, don't let this, this dude on stage. Don't let this dude on stage. He a problem. He, he, you know what I'm saying? He a problem. You get what I'm saying? And he and, and it's like Mav was telling ARP, like, before the battle, like, watch out for this one dude. You get what I'm saying? Because you can hear Mav saying it. Where how he say, then I tell you about him. Told you don't let him in here, man. Get this dude out of here. Get this dude out of here. You know what I'm saying? And when Mav tried to break Hollow and Dude from each other, when he was just talking to Hollow, like, you know, which no problem. A lot of a lot of people do that. Talk to their guy when you in a corner, whispering in his ear, probably remind him of something, or probably just encouraging him to, you know what I'm saying? You know, you're doing your thing, you know, whatever you're doing. No big deal. No big deal. He whispering in hollow air. So it's no big deal. Mav, Mav, Mav overreacted, man. And, and when he did that, you know, and dude, you know, dude told Mav, like, dog, I'm going to smoke you when you get outside. You know what I'm saying? And Mav was like, like, you know, and Mav, you know, he heard it. So Mav, like, you know what I'm saying? Man, get this nigga out of here. You know what I'm saying? Get get him up out of here. I told you about get this dude up out of here. You know what I'm saying? Um, he like tough. Always wanna be tough. Wanna be tough. That's what Mal said. Always wanna be tough, you know. They mic on, so you can hear the little arguing back and you know, the little chatter. And then Hollow had to go tell the dude, you know, like what I was trying to catch what they were saying. I couldn't catch really what they all was saying. Saying, but you know, whatever Hollow said to him, dude left out, like, right? Then after Math was done with his round, he come up to Hollow. He like, man, we got a problem. I mean, is it gonna be a problem? And Hollow, like, what you mean between me and you? Like, what are you saying? He like, man, it's gonna be a problem. What we got a problem? Because the man had just told Math, I'm smoking you when you get outside. Well, I don't know how it is in New York, but I know when you say you smoking somebody right here, we'll be like, nigga, I'm smoking you. Or, you know, people be like, man, you don't want that smoke. I think I know what that means. For some reason, Mav is aware that this dude, whoever he is, Mav know who he is, because he was telling AIP, see what I told you about this dude, this the dude I was telling you about, like, you know what I'm saying? Um. Yeah, but Mav definitely overreacted. He definitely over overreacted. And according to the rules, 
they were supposed to only had three people on stage. So, um, that was crazy. Math had a good solid round, however, but it wasn't good enough to be hollow, hollow second. I only scored math 16 points, so the score right now is 1-1 one, one going into the third, just like a good battle should be. Both MCs doing their thing. Hollow come on in the third round. Hollow come on in the third round, and Hollow, man, um, third round was nice. You know what I'm saying? He had a nice, solid third round. Then this dude put on a bulletproof vest. After his third round was on, he put on it like this bulletproof vest type thing. You know what I'm saying? Now, math in the rap. Three people come on stage. I mean, two other people come on stage. Hollow telling uh, uh, ARP, like, hey, hey, hey. Because Hollow know the other two dudes getting on stage. Hollow telling ARP, no, nah, no, nah, who is them? No, nah, it's only supposed to be three dudes on stage. Who did, you know what I'm saying? Hollow seemed concerned. So Math like, hey, hey, go tell them. Like, no, nah, you know, what, what, you want me to take two off and two come on and such and such? Because these two particular people, Math was finna bring out, happened to be the co owners of LOM Clothing Line. And. Mav come out with paperwork on Hollow the Don, allegedly stealing and, 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 and embezzling money from the LOM clothing line and the co-partners of it. He bought out the two owners of the LOM clothing line. And why and, and why we see Hollow now wearing this other clothing line called Hidden Label. We got to get off into that in another blog. But according to Mav, Talking that rip. This was the let me tell you something. This was the coldest battle rap exposing thing in the game. This killed the the the, the J four hundred exposing Sharif on messing around with trannies. This right here was better than uh, uh, Lux exposing hollow uh, 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 clips for being his father with the paperwork. This was more strategic and put down way better than, well, well, better than Verb exposing Hitman Holler for just being a, a, a dude who played high school ball. This exposing right here got to be the best ever done in battle rap this night. And the way Mal put it together and structured it, the execution was beautiful. He bring out the two co-owners of LOM Clothing. One brother named Rob and the other brother named Duck. He get to going into his rounds of how Hollow started stealing money and embezzling funds. Then he played the game called Swear to God. That's another blog too. Uh, a game called Swear to God. He's, you know how the battle rapper be like, let's play Swear to God. Where he confronted Hollow for embezzling money from the LOM uh, 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 Corporation. Then, then the... Um, the um, grand larceny of what he did and the lawsuit and paper thing that's going on with what he did. Then he get off into a story that when the partners found out Hollow allegedly was stealing funds from the LOM, they found out where he lived and resided at in Florida. Came down to his house. I don't know how true this is. Came down to his house. I guess it was on some pistol stuff. Hollow flee, left the mother and, and left his mother and baby in the car. Then called the police on the guy and everything. Um, called the police on the guy and everything. And he allegedly was supposed to got away with like $50,000 in cash or something like that. You know what I'm saying? So, that third round was crazy, man. That third round was crazy, man. Uh, Mav, Mav, Mav snapped in that third round, man, on Hollow, man. I gave Mav, I gave Mav 31 points to Hollow 15 in the third round. This was a clear victory for Mav, clear victory. It wasn't a 3-0. Hollow was good all three rounds. He did his thing, but it just wasn't enough. I believe Mav had more to say. Mav had more to say. Hollow was hanging in there, but tonight would not be his night. 
Mav Hopper won this battle, man. And uh, it was crazy, man. It was crazy, man. I just hope the brother okay. I tried to call the brother um, to make sure he was okay. Because I saw, I heard what the dude said out of his mouth. And I just wanted to make sure he was okay after the event. Um, this was a good battle, though, man. It was good for Hollow. I don't think it hurt Hollow in any type of way. But I think it's a stepping stone for uh, Mav to re-resurrect his career. Mav actually was on fire, did his thing, man. And the people was rocking with him. At one time in this battle, it was pissing me off so bad. The people was rocking with Mav so heavy in this building that at one time in the second round, they wasn't even trying to let Hollow rap. It took Hollow a long time to rap. They wasn't even trying to hear it at all. You know what I'm saying? He had some people heckling him. And I was just saying like, dang, this is crazy. I ain't never see Hollow get treated like that in New York. But people just felt that he just wasn't loyal. He hurt himself. He hurt himself. Congratulations to Mav Hoffa in this battle. This was a good battle. I hope you all right out there, brother, man. And ain't nothing else went on. I hope uh, that, that that situation was diffused. Because it seemed like it was personal even outside of you and Hollow with other people y'all associate with. So hopefully things went right, man. Um, this your boy Battle Truth. And ain't my judgment lesson question. It's yours. Mad pop over Hollow the Dime, man. In a 2-1 battle, man. 2-1. I got Mav Hopper 19 points to Hollow the Don 17 in the first round. Then I got Hollow the Don 24 points to Mav Hopper 16 points in the second round. Then I got Hollow the Don 15 points to Mav Hopper 31 points in the third round. So I appreciate everybody watching. Pearly Gate 3 is over with. One of the biggest grudge matches in battle rap that is, uh, is done, put away with. Let's just hope nothing else happened containing this battle after the event was over. And it's your boy, Battle Truth. It ain't my judgment, that's the question. It's yours. Subscribe to Battle Truth.